Hi friends, Sarah here from Sunset Bow, and I'm making a quick video because I wanted to share what just happened to me. So, um, I have recently been kind of going through my deck collection and making decisions about what decks I wanted to keep and um, whether or not there were some decks that I thought that it was time to let go of. I don't know if this is just a January thing. I don't know if it's because Marie Kondo is on Netflix, uh, you know, if it's just the new year, but you know, you kind of get to that point where you feel like you need a little bit of cleansing and, you know, to maybe let some things go that um, aren't really kind of serving you and, um, you know, just make some decisions about um, whether or not there are things that you want to actually keep in your life or things that you want to pass on to somebody else who could enjoy them more or make more use of them. So I've actually done a couple of kind of shocking things recently. Um, first of all, um, I got a couple of new decks in the mail in December. Um, specifically, I got the Spirit Keepers Tarot by Benabel Wen, you know, the deck that everybody was so eager to get and waiting for, and it sold out a thousand copies in less than seven days, and there are so many people who were so upset that they didn't get their hands on one. I, I did manage to get my hands on one, so that one showed up in December. And then also, um, the Dream Keepers Tarot by Liz Houston, which is a Kickstarter that I backed, um, another deck that I was very excited about, also showed up in December. and. A couple weeks ago, I opened up those decks. I immediately knew that they weren't for me. And I immediately knew that I needed to let them go. And in particular with the Spirit Keepers, I almost felt guilty that I had it. And I knew that there were people who would get so much more out of it than I would. And so so I let them both go. I actually just sold them both on eBay. They both just got shipped out last week. And I know that's kind of shocking, but it, they, it just was an immediate sort of visceral reaction where I was like, these are beautiful. They're not for me and I'm not going to be able to read with them. Um, so I had also been kind of going through some other decks that I had been struggling with a little bit to try to decide whether or not I wanted to put them up for sale um, or trade them or what I wanted to do. And the Everyday Witch is actually a deck. I, I got this kind of later in the year last year and um, I had been kind of struggling to connect with it a little bit. It was one of those decks that I was just wildly excited to get. And um, it just, it felt like the sort of thing that would be so up my alley. I, I love these cute little witches. I stink and love cats, which you know if you've ever watched my channel at all. I think I mention my cats in every video. And um, there's cats in every card. And it's just, it's such a, a sweet, affirming um, style of artwork. I don't know. Everything about it just felt like it was the kind of thing that I could really, really relate to. And then I sort of struggled with relating to it. I got it and it just... Um, I just didn't have quite the reaction to it in person that I was expecting, despite having looked at every card online and looked at walkthroughs and thought this is for me and been so excited about it. So, um, but I've still been kind of going back and forth because again, I feel like it's the kind of deck that I really should be reacting to in a more positive way and I'm not sure why. Um, and so today I sat down and I was like, you know what, I'm going to let the deck tell me what I should do if I should keep it or let it go. Um, I'm, I'm gonna ask the deck what I should do. Um, and so I sat down and I did a reading and look at this sassy garbage I got. <laughs> I can't believe this. So the first, the first card I drew was the chariot, which in this deck literally shows someone who is trying to make a decision between two different pathways. Okay, I mean, you know, I have some different interpretations of the chariot that I often bring to it. Um, you know, there's a, there's more to it than just making a decision between two different things or being pulled in two different directions. Um, but in this deck in particular, just the imagery of it is very clearly a person who can't decide between two different paths. Okay, next card I drew is a two of wands. And again, the two of wands is a card that I see about as being about decision making. This is a person who is looking off into the future. They have the world in the palm of their hand. They know that there are all these options available and open to them. And this is the point at which they're considering, you know, do they want to strike out? Do they want to move forward? Um, you know, what, which actual path are they going to going to want to take? So another card about decision making. And then the third card I drew was the Seven of Pentacles. And again, I know there are a number of different, um, you know, 
interpretations that people can put on the seven of pentacles you know sometimes it's about reaping the rewards of your labor but for me oftentimes i read the seven of pentacles as taking stock of how far you've gotten in a particular endeavor and then making a decision do you want to continue on that path or do you want to move on to a different path so i i'm reading the everyday witch and i'm asking it should i keep you or should i let you go and literally drew three cards that are all so sassy and saying ha ha you can't make a decision and i'm just <laughs> all of a sudden i'm so freaking endeared you guys like all of a sudden I, <laughs> this deck is like making me laugh and i'm so charmed by it and i still haven't made a decision if i'm gonna keep it or let it go but i just I, I'm I'm like dying. I, I pulled these cards and I started to laugh so hard and was just like, okay, literally you are cheekily repeating back to me the exact question that I asked and and saying, nope, no answers for you. you you're still going to have the question um, and you still don't know what to do with me. And so I just... I just had to share this with everybody. Um, so I guess for now, I'm going to be holding on to the Everyday Witch because I still can't make a decision and it is refusing to help me make the decision. <laughs> and and again, just the sass of this has suddenly like charmed me so much that all of a sudden I am just kind of laughing and wanting this to stay on my shelf for the time being and and see what else it tries to pull um so anyway i just had to share this um thanks so much for watching you guys you know i, I know lots of people love the everyday witch and um i've talked to different you know a number of different people about this i know specifically i've talked to julie from peekaboo rose about this because this is like her soul deck and um and i've just been wanting to connect to it so hard and i've been working and trying and um and this is the moment suddenly the moment that it gets that it gets sassy with me is all of a sudden the moment that I'm like, okay, maybe you are for me. Um, so anyway, I, I just had to share and um, I just thought it was so funny. And thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.